Hey everyone, welcome to The Binding of Patrick for Friday. It's also the last show we're going to have for a week because I am headed to the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco. Well, I leave tomorrow because there is a one-day games criticism conference called Critical Proximity that I'm giving a short talk at on Sunday. But then Monday to Friday is GDC, and there's a lot going on. My schedule is pretty packed, and we're going to have stuff going on in the day, stuff going on at night. It's going to be pretty wild. Go ahead and turn off this heater. Um, so, yesterday we finished number six, the challenge. Go ahead and click that. So six is gone. Uh, now it's a question of what we do uh, from here. Uh, everything is now terrible, so the game is harder, which is great. Uh, but what should we do now? So, pulls up. I'm also trying to get Bombing in the AM's audio published. Just finished uploading to the site. I'm trying to get that up before starting this stream. So, we're doing both at the same time. I am delivering content while making content. I hate that word, though. I hate the word content. I don't like it. So that's saving while you guys vote on where to go next. Seven seems to be what we're going for. Seven is uh, meet forever. So we'll go ahead and give me two seconds to publish this little thing. Okay to be published live. All right. So now the podcast for this morning show is up. We can go ahead and start on the binding of Isaac. Go ahead. Close OBS. Get our cheat sheet ready. Get chat up. Okay. So, all right. So, number seven was the winner. So, that's the challenge we're going to go with. Uh, something about Meat Boy. Cube of Meat. Oh, man. He's huge. Wow. That's so big. Hey, me boy. Wow. Man, our buddy is doing work. Uh, no bombs. Oh, I have one bomb. Uh, okay. I uh, don't, ne don't necessarily want to use that yet. It's, it's kind of weird to go back to having normal uh, shots right now. I gotta be perfectly honest. <laughs> wow. When you get that upgraded meat boy, that is ridiculous. He doesn't want to go after this guy though, huh? Shit. Anarchist cookbook. I believe that just spawns like six bombs, right? Spawns six troll bombs at random locations around the room. 25% chance to drop from the pride mini boss. That's I'm not a huge fan of this. Uh, but I guess I could use the troll bombs to try and find the secret room. I guess that would be like the one potentially good use of it. Oh, you know what? I could use it to uh, to get this. Alright, so we get two bombs. Uh, I've got no keys. Secret room. So I got six cents. Uh, 
unfortunately can't do what we did in the last run, which was look for the super secret room. Uh, so we gotta focus on getting to the boss. Uh, no item rooms on any of these challenge runs, it seems. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess the focus here is just letting Meat Boy do his thing. Just try not to get hurt. Alright, we get HP up, which is great. Uh, we get a soul heart, which is great. No keys, two bombs. I'm uh, gonna hold on to those bombs. No other hearts, so no reason to uh, spend time in the blood room. So we just move on to the next stage. Man, this is... Fully upgraded Meat Boy is crazy. That's just a uh, TNT. It's just embedded in the rock, I guess. Whoa. Hey, could you take care of those spiders, my friend? Yeah, I hate spiders. That's so hard. Come on, buddy. Get him. Get him. So it seems like a lot of this run uh, is really just kind of staying out of the way. Letting your buddy kind of take the reins. He does an enormous amount of damage. And he's very aggressive. Uh, although you have to make sure that you're putting him in a place to, to actually attack the enemy. Uh, See, eh, so it's gonna hurt me there, uh, but I suppose I'll take the couple of times there's a bomb enemy uh, and just sort of deal with it. Really don't like the Anika's cookbook. I'd really like to get rid of this uh, item as soon as possible. Ah. These spiders are the worst. These actually, actually, these spiders are the worst. <laughs> So we've got an arcade. We've got seven cents. Lord Gambler has appeared. Um. So I think actually... So we don't want to mess with anything in here too much, I think. We'll sort of see what our health situation is after the boss. We'll come back. So we've got that that room. Uh, I guess well, there's probably a secret room right here, right? We'd really love a secret room full of hearts, but I don't know what determines finding the super secret room. So... I'm not going to waste my bombs, because unfortunately I don't have an infinite supply this time around. Uh, but we'll take out the boss, and then we'll come back and deal with the arcade. Huh. Got it, meat boy. Tears up. The moon. Teleports the player to the secret room. Does anyone know if the moon will take me to the super secret room, or is it only the normal secret room? In which case, I should hold on to the moon for the next stage. I don't think I'm going to want to mess with, uh, 
with the devil. I want to keep my health up. Um, Meat Boy is essentially going to take care of a lot of damage for me. I would rather keep four health instead of going down to two. Uh, not to mention I think that's Brimstone, right? Yeah, that's Brimstone. And we have now officially called off Brimstone as a useful item. Uh, so no keys, but two bombs. People saying that the moon will only take me to the normal secret room, so don't want to use it on this stage. Uh, we're now going to go spend the rest of our money at the arcade. Uh, mostly in hopes of getting that blood bag. We'll happily take a key. Uh, <clears throat> we are down on keys uh, and bombs, so uh, this guy can help us out in that regard. He can also give us, uh, you know, absolutely nothing as well. Which <laughs> is currently my luck. Come on. Lord Gambler. Oh, if I get this, then it's going to end it. And that's going to end it. So, fly love. So I get that poop on my head. Um, I don't think it's actually worth it to spend my time on this. Just blow it up. Um, I think I'm going to spend the soul hearts to check out the the room over here. I want to keep my last bomb. Uh. Shit, I messed up. I thought that was a different item. <laughs> Alright, well, we just we really just screwed this up. But we're gonna go, we're gonna have to just deal with it. I should have looked up that item. Well, idiot. Now right, well, look at us, we got these soul hearts. Let's see how far we can take this, huh? Don't count us out yet. You never know what might happen. We got Meat Boy on our side. We're just gonna have to use him a little more than we were expecting. Come on, Meat Boy. Take out those guys. Yeah, you got it, buddy. crawl our way out of this. Man, really should have thought about picking up that item. Alright, let's go ahead and transport ourselves to the secret room. So the secret rooms are back to back. Mom's pearl. Um, ooh. There are no item rooms. I what Mom's pearl does. An extra 10% chance a non-specific heart drop will become a soul heart. That actually is super useful to us. Um, so I wonder how much exploring is really worth it to us at this point. 
Because uh, we are looking for soul hearts to, to give us some... Uh, some backup here. We're mostly just looking for the shop. Uh... Uh, but now we've got three keys, so we'll take this drop. Okay, that's a heart. Would rather have a soul heart, but that's okay. Alright. Well. Book of Revelations, which I believe gives us soul hearts, right? Adds one soul heart upon use. Boom. Okay, so look at this. Look at us finding ways to make this run work. Alright, so we'd like to buy that pill as well, but we need more money. Well. This is unfortunate. We're gonna try and hope that, uh... Well, we, <laughs> we had some potential with this run. And then this room went and messed it up. We have a golden key now, which can open everything, I believe. Let's see. Mom's pearl. Left hand. Replaces chest with red chest. No, I don't want that. So we're getting a lot of really hilarious drops on this run. Um, so now we don't need the key. So I believe fly love means I can no longer be hurt by the flies. So now we want to try and come over and, uh... Hmm, shit. I can't get that. I need another bomb drop. Okay. Why would I want left hand? Left hand turns them into red, uh... Turns regular chest into red chest. Isn't that worse? Key is only for the current floor. Oh, you can get Devil Room's items for free. Hmm. Yeah, I'm keeping the pearl. Um, so, let's see. I could use. Uh, the cookbook to get potentially get um, that gold chest. So why don't we go at least give that a shot? Uh, I don't know where the bombs are going to drop. It could also hurt me, but uh, we're, we're hoping to get. Let's see how this works. Okay. Alright, it worked out. No, it didn't. Uh, but it can work out. No, it did, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Alright, so I got... <laughs> I got one on the side that I did need, and then one on the side I didn't need. 
So, okay, so that is exactly what we wanted. That was 100% worth our time investment there. Um, so we've gotten one health up. Crawling our way back. Gonna go back and grab the Book of Revelations. Um, which we left in the store. We don't have five cents, but maybe five cents might drop. Or three cents might drop uh, somewhere else. So, uh, we're trying to charge the Book of Revelations up, so probably at least explore this other room. Nope, we're not going to mess with that. We're headed straight to the boss. Let's cross our fingers. Let's do this. We got this. Trying to let Meat Boy do all the work. We just don't want to get hurt. That is all we're trying to do. Another cube of meat? Okay. Didn't we say... Can't... Oh, all right. So I, if I leave the room, then the devil room disappears, right? Um. So even though there's an item that lets me get devil items for free, it's not going to help me because if I leave, right, if I leave, I'll come back, yeah, it's gone. So, that was not going to help us because we were not going to give up the health. Oh my god. Come on, meat boy. I know you don't like spiders, but I don't like spiders either. Who likes spiders? Whew. Let's get that book of revelations charged up. Money, money, money. Explore. Desperately need more health. <laughs> this run is probably not going to end well, but I, I really like the idea of trying to get it as far as we can. Because even though you have nine lives, it doesn't do a whole lot when every single time you die, you, res you respawn in the room. God. Jesus. Every time you die, uh, the, the room resets. You are taken out of the room and have to go back in. So it's not like you just die and then come back into the room. Um... So that's why the, the mushroom that gives you a, a, an actual second life is the most useful of the extra life items available in the game, because... Um, you actually start with your full health. It doesn't, it doesn't alter what you already have. Man, I don't think that would actually get me... I don't think the blast radius is enough to... I think I would need two bombs. Let's see if we can actually acquire that. Z 
Z-Man says, 155 says, also you respawn with one heart every time, no matter how many heart containers you have gained prior. Oof, that's brutal. That is not very nice. So that means even if we were somehow to get like up to four health, you don't maintain that four health uh, upon death, uh, you lose that. All right, we want to try and charge this up. So let's see if we can't find another room. Shit. This went from a run that was probably going to be relatively easy to one that we made artificially extremely difficult. Buddy, ah. buddy, this doesn't work unless you want to fight these guys. Well, we got the Book of Revelations charged up, but then took a, a health hit, and there are no options for us around nor a shop to use so we just got to go for the boss and we'll cross our fingers I guess here we go So same strategy, just trying to avoid doing that. These boys got this. Come on, Meat Boy, you got this. Thanks, buddy. HP up! Uh, all right, so there's no more health on this floor. We want to keep the health that we've got. Um, the shop was greed. I don't want to mess with the uh, armory because it's just a regular, um, a regular uh, chest, not a gold chest. So we found the secret room. Not gonna look for the secret secret room. I've only got one bomb. All right, depths one. Just let I just let me boy do his thing. You got it, buddy. I know you're so happy. We're so happy. Take a nickel. Take a soul heart. Oh shoot! I was looking at the wrong thing. Get hurt. 
That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Thank you. All right, so depths one. Uh, we want to try and charge up the Book of Revelations, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to explore this a little bit further. Oh man, that's the rock. We definitely want that. And we want these bombs. So damage up, does that apply just to me or does that apply to Meat Boy as well? Question for the chat. Avoiding, letting Meat Boy do his thing. Trying to take some pot shots if we can. Mostly avoiding damage. Trying to get our soul hearts up. Thank you! Most people thinking that uh, damage up with the rock only reflects tier damage. Not necessarily... secret uh, meat boy getting a, a boost we're also looking for the shop the shop would be real nice because we got 21 cents Shit. meat boy doing work right from the beginning he doesn't meat boy is in this he's in it to win it just like I am two of spades I believe the two of spades his card drops Doubles the number of keys you have. If you have no keys, it gives you two. Beep. Ha, oh, ha. Avoiding damage, avoiding damage, avoiding damage. Meat Boy's like, yo, come to me, my friend. I will eat you. Great. Look, revelations up, soul heart. Huh. So those don't count against the enemies you have to defeat in order to exit the stage. Interesting. Uh, I got so many soul hearts, I want to hold on to those. Don't want to worry. careful let's be careful let's be careful we can get out of this room alive with no hits this would be fantastic Woo! clutch meat I don't know what that does not gonna look it up I think that's mom's purse though and I think that's gonna give us pills more trinket room oh so I can pick up a second trinket the hermit Teleports the player to the shop. On or below the womb, this acts as a random teleport since there are no shops. Alright, so we'll be able to use this on the next stage at least. Alright, so we fully explored this room. We are happy with it. Uh, we don't want to use up a soul heart on uh, the... I don't even know what you call this. Is what you call those rooms. You should look them up. But the ones that take away your hearts. The, the doors that eat you. Uh, so we're just going to keep moving. We're going to head straight to the boss. Uh, oh, I guess we could look for the the secret room, which might be next to the shop. Let's go ahead and... We got six bombs. We should check right here. Nope. So, let's see. I didn't check here, did I? No, because it would be a... There'd be a blast mark. Nope. 
Hmm. Did I check here? Nope. Not sure where that secret room is. All right, well, we are gonna head in to the boss. Let's do this. I believe in ourselves. Boy, I'm not happy with this either. Second cube of meat. <laughs> so we have two meat boys. <laughs> um, this devil room does not help us. Uh, all we're going to mess with is uh, extinguishing the flames. I am definitely... Not going to sacrifice two health for any of this, right? I don't know what any of these do, though. I forget. That's the cat head I wanted. Counts as one item towards achieving guppy state. I don't know what that means. Why would I want to get the cat head? I know the. I guess. So let's think this through, right? So, nine lives. Uh, I'm doing pretty good now, but I might, if I die, I go back to one heart. This is only for this one life that I have three health. Um, so how do you achieve guppy state? What's this other one? Spirit of the night. Gives the player the ability to fly in spectral tears, an item commonly found in this double room. I don't want that. Yeah, I'm keeping the book. I want the soul hearts. Bye, devil. Someone want to explain uh, what a guppy state is? Alright, so we got the shop right off the- Oh god damn it! Well, that steam sale doesn't help us at all. <laughs> I don't think there are any more shops. So now it's just a random teleport. Which I guess... Maybe use the random teleport after... Range up. Thank you, meat. My meat brothers are doing uh, a lot of tremendous work right now.
just real A plus stuff. be the secret room. Nope. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, I don't know. Mm. What's life if you don't gamble? Oh god damn it! to try so I'm still not taking more than one hit per uh, or half a heart I'll say I'd, I'm gonna say I charge up the book of revelations one more time and then I take the stuff for dummies into the boss uh, which should help me out the boss Oh, it's right. Chat's pointing out that mom will lock me in. So actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we'll just charge it up and, and not grab telepathy. Because uh, I'd rather have the Book of Revelations. This is a shitty room to get trapped in. Alright, book is charged. We are set up for mom. Let's do it. Uh, this hermit card is useless to us. We got greed again, right? Yeah. All right, mom it is.
Code Huff. Speed up. Oh, I can equip both. That's right. Uh, so the Hermit's a random teleport. Um, strength, I think, is like a... Gives the player the magic mushroom effect, which increases size, damage, and gives one extra heart container for the current room. So we'll save that. Uh, let's hope this pill is good. Good pill. Good pill. Good pill. Damn. That is a good pill. Just not the... We didn't want to use it right then. Alright, so we'll hold on to strength. And we move on. <laughs> Alright. We are looking for the boss. We want that boss room to spawn as close to us as possible. And actually, that we are going to get it. Um, at six hearts, I don't think I'm going to try and gamble on uh, charging up the Book of Revelations again. Uh, I think I'm just going to go right for Mom's heart. Uh, or not Mom's heart, because we're in 1-1, uh, but just go straight for the boss. Alright, so Meat Boy should be super useful on this boss, who actually is pretty easy, but... He should be able to kind of take care of it for us, largely. I need to get out of this corner. Dog food. HP up. Uh, there is nothing that devil can offer us, literally. I am sticking with the hearts that I have. Um, so we're just going to keep moving. All right, there's nothing. I guess we'll just look. Might as well uh, extinguish the flames in the event that you get a random drop out of them. But I don't want the mark. I don't want the. I don't want any of that. You're just moving on. All right, so let's hope we can once again get. Uh, the boss room to spawn really close to us, uh, and we'll get lucky on the direction we pick, so. That is not lucky. This is unlucky. He's so excited, he really wants to kill them! I'm excited for you too, Meat Boy. Damn it. Down 
a right, down a right. Let's go right. doing work. The Hanged Man. Gives the player the flying effect for the current room. Allow the player to fly our obstacles on the floor. That's not... We want the strength card because that's going to give us health. Fuck me. What an awful room to get spawned. Uh, people are saying that you can blow the door. Um, I, I do realize that, but I'm trying to get my health up. Um, so, uh, I realize there's a risk-reward there. Alright, I'm gonna just let Meat Boy get excited and take everyone out. Uh, I have no reason to rush this room at all. He will... Uh, Slowly take... Okay, now we're safe. I didn't want to make any stupid mistakes. We have found the boss room. We're going to gamble <laughs> one last time, which I think is pretty exciting. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. Sure, keys. Take that nickel. We're open for soul hearts. Soul hearts are what we want. Lord Gamblor decided to to bestow himself upon us one last time before we uh, try and take out uh, Mom's heart. Which I think is pretty funny. Yes! Soul Heart, thank you. Well, we already got the health down one, so we know what that looks like. So... Uh, we are gonna want these bombs. So we will take bombs. Because we are gonna want to try and take out Mom, uh as fast as possible. Son of a... I cannot believe that that... That fly spawned right there. That is, I've never been hit by one like that. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, please be something good. Oh, that could have gone so badly. Oh, good lord. Uh, 
so let's blow you up. Ace of spades, doesn't that give us, it doubles our key count, right? No, tarot cards. All right, give me some soul hearts. Yes! All right, guys, this is it. Who I didn't think we could make it this far. And I think we have a legitimate shot at mom's heart. Let's revisit what strength does. Strength gives the player the magic mushroom effect, which increases size damage and gives one extra heart container for the current room. So we'll use that as soon as we're in there. And uh, good luck. Let's hope we can do this. We got this. Boom! Super fan has appeared in the basement. What is this? The water has appeared in the basement. All right. This is the run where we're gonna go deeper. The one that should not have happened. This is ridiculous. Curse of Darkness, great. <sighs> all right, well, I feel like this is all gravy. Like, whatever happens here, we should not have gotten this far. So what is the water? What does that mean? Water. Oh, the water just spawns now, right? Or can potentially spawn. All right, let's we gotta let Meat Boy do his thing. Go ahead and split. And they are fast. Come on. Oh, jeez. What the hell?
Oh! Why did that drag off? I didn't mean to move it. Oh man, the run continues. Uh, I have not been paying attention to my where I'm supposed to be going. Oh. Let's just try and be careful here. Damn it! Come on, me boy. Do your thing. These guys are fast. out some of these guys while oh, they're chasing me it is terrifying because they do a lot of damage and they are extremely fast these variants are rough okay down I mean I don't know we got we've got no, nothing to do except to just keep exploring Dodge. And wait for Meat Boy to do his thing. You got this, Meat. You my boy. You my boy, Meat. You my boy. Damn it. This sucks. I have never faced him before. I need to open this up a little bit. How am I supposed to dodge these? This is terrible. Can I get out of here? I don't want that. Oh, buddy. Route. We lost a lot of health. <laughs> Down to one health. Well, oh, God. <laughs> okay, we need to let Meat Boy do his thing. Man, this is all going so wrong so fast. Oh, this is so bad. This is so hard. Jeez. I don't know what to do. There's too many of them. That's where it came to an end. That run was ridiculous, though. We got way further and did way more than we ever should have. Uh, that was a frustrating way to go out, but damn it. Uh, that, you know, we weren't going to beat Satan that way. We That room was just especially nasty. Um, 
it, the room is not that tough. It's just kind of tough to get out of there with less than with not getting hit once. And unfortunately, the room with death. I assume that's the mini boss. Um, I should have gotten out of there sooner. I should have bombed as soon as I walked in there, uh, but I didn't. And that's just kind of the way it goes in the Binding of Isaac. But that is the Binding of Patrick for today. It's also the end of the feature for the next week. As I mentioned at the top, I'll be at the Game Developers Conference, hanging out with the dudes in San Francisco, talking to game developers, probably having too much to drink. Um, so we will put this on pause for a week, and we will return when I am back in Chicago. Um, I may be taking that Monday off after GDC off, so it might be Tuesday when we return with Bomb in the AM, with Scoops and the Wolf, and The Binding of Patrick. So we will see you all then. Maybe... Uh, you guys can play some Binding of Isaac in the meantime, um, and I will see you guys all real soon.